have new fashion tips to share with you today. It's 50 Fashion Forward, and here we go with an ascot today. You know, ascot has a little history. I'll, I'll mention that in the notes below. Love fashion history. And what we're going to use is, of course, the ascot. What di differentiates it are the pointed ends. And so we have a long oblong ascot. So what we're going to do is two different ways to tie this today. We're going to show a deeper, more plunging neckline and a higher at the neck. So we'll start with a higher at the neck. And what I like to do is start at the neck. We go back and back around. Now remember, I always like the one that's on top to be a little longer and I cross over. Then I'm going to bring that up and through and we're balanced. Now this is where you can take a vintage pin and add it here. This is a stunning, stunning, traditional, more formal fill-in at the neck. Very sophisticated. So we're finished here. Or if you don't have a pin, you could tie it. Square knot. Notice how I do my square knots up and down versus this way because I like a little more angle to my knot. It's just a little more flattering. And where does the eye go? From the knot and to the face. So isn't that sophisticated? I think you'll love this. The second one we're going to show is the V-neck or the plunging neck line. And this is real simple. We're just going to do a square knot. Remember, our knot always stays at the bust line or above, never below, because the eye goes to that knot wherever it is. So here we go. We're going to put this top one through, and we have a double knot, and we have a beautiful strip of elegance to add to your wardrobe. I hope you do this at home, and I hope you enjoy this one. I love this. Just as a second alternative to using the scarf, you can use it at the waist, you can use it as a hip sash. So this has a lot of uses, the ascot. I really appreciate your tips and I really appreciate your questions and your comments and keep them coming gals. Thank you Debbie Jo. Debbie Jo shared that she used one of these ideas and, and got a great response. So I appreciate that, that means a lot. So until next time. Mm -hmm.